integrate <coughs> 1 over 2x squared plus x minus 1. Now this is again a form where we can do the trig substitution. Now for which we need to make a perfect square for which I don't need this 2. So what I've done is in the next step, I've divided this by 2, the whole denominator by 2. So this is the denominator's denominator which goes to the numerator. So to counter that 2 which goes to the numerator, I have put a 1 half here. So this 2 when it goes to the numerator, we have got a half here to counter it or to cancel it. So basically this and this are the same. So what happens in the next step is, this becomes half times x squared plus half x minus half. Now this I want to make a perfect square. Now to make a perfect square, the algorithm or the way in which you can make this a perfect square is you the take the half of half, which is a quarter, and then square it. So the square of a quarter is 1 16th. So I have added 1 16th and then taken off 1 16th. So this is nothing but 0. Or this and this are again same. So this whole process is to make a perfect square. So this becomes, so this whole thing becomes a perfect square, which is uh, x plus a quarter squared, and this one half can be written as 8 sixteenths. So this becomes x plus quarter the whole square minus 9 sixteenth. And 9 sixteenth is also a perfect square of 3 quarters. So this is one half times x plus quarter the whole squared minus x uh, 3 quarter the whole squared. Now using difference of two squares, this is x plus quarter plus 3 quarter, x plus quarter minus 3 quarters. So a quarter and a 3 quarter is 1, and a quarter take away 3 quarter is a half, negative half. Now, I'm just, and for the next step, I want to write this whole thing as addition of two factors. So what I've done is I've take, written this 1 over x minus half minus 1 over x plus half. Now here, if you simplify this, this, the numerator can be simplified if you cross multiply or if you multiply this with x plus 1. So the numerator will become x plus 1. You've got a minus x plus half over x minus half x plus 1. So again, can you see here, this and this gets cancelled. So in the numerator, you'll have 1 and 1 plus 1 half, which is 3 halves. Okay, so the, to counter that 3 halves, so this, the numerator simplifies to 3 halves. I hope you can see that. Now to counter that, I've put a 2 thirds here. To count or to cancel this. Counter means what, what I mean by counter is to cancel. Okay, so you can't have to make this and this equal. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because you have, you can integrate 1 over x. So this can be integrated and this can also be integrated. Whereas here you can't integrate this. So this 3 halves, the reciprocal of 3 half is 2 thirds. So this cancel this three halves so this can be factored out so this two and two gets cancelled so this is one third and then you can uh, distribute this integration so integration of one over x minus half dx minus integration of one over x plus one dx and that integrates to natural log of uh, modulus of x minus half minus natural log of modulus of x plus one and applying the log rule, when you take away log, you have to divide the uh, argument. So this is natural log of x minus half over x plus 1. And this simplifies to 2x minus 1 over 2 times, uh, two times uh, x plus 1 plus c.